My guy came in looking rough. We're about to clean him up. Let's get it. We're gonna give him a high taper, no C cups, with an enhanced, crispy, symmetrical lineup. After we scoped his afro, we're just gonna, you know, curl sponge the top. We're gonna start off with the taper. I'm using my JRLs. And right after I create my first guideline with my lever open, I'm gonna go ahead and erase it right under that. And then I grab my one guard and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. But the one guard will not erase the guideline. Next, I switch to my three guard. We're gonna begin to debulk to fade into the afro. Now I have my two guard. And back down to my one and then my zero guard. The zero guard will completely blend it out. Now we're gonna detail it with our Babyliss FX Clippers. And now we're just gonna freehand just to sculpt that transition area. You always wanna have a smooth transition area. When you're dealing with Afro hair, especially when it's long on top, you're gonna have to transition the area between that three and then just freehand it above that, like how I'm doing now. We're detailing with our one and a half guard, making sure that everything is smooth. Same thing for the other side. We're gonna set that first guideline. And you don't wanna go up too high with that first guideline. You still wanna keep the hairline area, the vertical bar area crispy. So if you guys wanna learn how to cut hair or you just like watching satisfying hair videos, click that subscribe button immediately. I usually do videos just like this, fast paced tutorials, but also entertaining videos. So same thing on this side, just debulking. I did not upload a video this past week because I lost my voice. I'm healthy again. I had a cold. I'm healthy. So I was just spending this past week, you know, stacking up videos and just recovering. I got a lot of heat coming for you guys. So stay tuned. This side was a bit easier to do just because of the way his hair grew on this side. You're always gonna have an easy side and then a difficult side. Same thing with, with fading and, and even on the hairline, you know, there's different difficulties based on which side you're doing or even in the middle. Notice how I'm using the, the corner of the blade. And for the back, same thing. I am gonna stretch my guidelines a bit more back here. So I'm going up a full inch. And we still wanna maintain that round shape in the back. So just notice as I go up, I'm kind of scooping out to maintain that shape but also to take weight off. So right here is where I have the three, and this is where you're really gonna try and maintain that shape instead of just digging straight in. This is my two guard. Now I have my zero, and this is gonna blend that last line in before we get out the bottom line with our zero gap clippers. So for the shape up, I do like to take the area down before I shape it up, not too low since this is a longer hairstyle. So I think I went with like a two guard with the grain over this area. You don't want to leave it too curly because then there will be no durability to the lineup. So notice how I'm kind of like trimming around that area just to make sure it lasts. You know, if he puts a hat on, a hoodie, the line will still be somewhat sharp. You know what I'm saying? Notice how I'm using the corner of the blade, not the full blade. 
it, it's basically like drawing. Now for the hairline. We do have to take it back somewhat to make it symmetrical. He likes his hairline symmetrical. He has a naturally rainbow shaped hairline. He likes it straight. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna carve it out. And I noticed it was kind of curling up too much. There would be no durability to the lineup. So I trimmed it down some more. Notice how no now there's more, you know, durability to the lineup. Now that I did that. We're gonna spray some enhancements. I introduced him to enhancements a few months ago. He really liked it. So he told me we're gonna stick with this look. Notice how the enhancements make his hair blend into the dark parts up top. <clears throat> it looks really good in my opinion. We're gonna hit his mustache real quick. And now we're just gonna taper, I'm detail this taper. Now the satisfying part, we're gonna shape his afro. So we're gonna pick it out first. <clears throat> and this is a process, it takes long. This is a process. So he's gonna wear it rough, meaning he's gonna wear it in a curly style, not with it picked out like this. So notice how I made my entry point, and now I'm following that guide all throughout his head. Kind of like how you would do with scissors. You make your first guide at the top of the head, and then you follow that shape all around. Now, if your client wants a more box shape, you do it in that form. I would even start on the sides, but since he wanted a more round shape, we started in the middle of his head, just to maintain that guide all the way through and get a very sharp clipper. I wouldn't recommend using a trimmer. I, re I would recommend getting a very sharp clipper with a sharp, um, with a powerful motor, honestly. Now we're just gonna shape it with some uh, scissors. We're gonna curl sponge the top. It's a little blurry here. My apologies for that. <clears throat> gonna freehand it some more. I believe my camera was out of focus. So now it has a more rough look, a more natural look to it. So here's my point of view. Hairline's nice and symmetrical. Look at that, it's perfect. So I'm lining it up even more just to give it more durability. Look at that, crispy. We're gonna cut the uneven parts a bit. This is the before, this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving. Sharp. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Four, I'm out. Peace.